another common experience many of us can expect is frustration and anger, either giving it out or being on the receiving end of it. The tendency, particularly at this time, is that people will be quicker to anger and very often it might be irrational. Just last week I witnessed two grown men having a fight in a local restaurant in front of their families. On the same day, my wife got punched not once but twice by an elderly gentleman in a pharmacy, just an indication of his stress. So while elevated levels of frustration and anger will happen, they are really not constructive, mainly because they break down relationships at a time when we really need to be building relationships. So if this does happen, what to do? The first thing to do is to bring awareness to the situation. When I have an expectation of somebody or something, and that somebody or something doesn't deliver on my expectation, like my daughter not keeping her room tidy, I get angry and I blame the other person for being wrong. In this way, it's actually my expectation that's causing me to lose my shit, and not the other person who's probably just doing what they normally do, like my daughter being a bit slow to pick her clothes up off the floor. When we recognize that we're doing this to ourselves and hurting the other person, the first thing to do is to take the chill pill and then to recalibrate our levels of expectation to be more realistic and forgiving at a time like this. If you're still feeling that charge and energy of anger, find an outlet, not another person. Do some vigorous exercise, shout into and punch a pillow if you got a swimming pool, get into the water, go mad and scream under the water and do it again. And hopefully when we pick our head up from this, we're able to smile at ourselves. As we navigate this journey, let's make sure we keep nurturing ourselves and make sure we look after the people who need looking after.